welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing my 2023 summer morning routine. So it normally starts off at about 6.30 in the morning. So the first thing I do is I go and I grab all the horses fly mask. Then it's time for me to go and get some treats because I always like to have some treats with me. And then it is time to Jacko. He's normally waiting for me. And I need to put on his fly mask. And this particular day, it was a little bit windy. But anyway, he's always a very good boy and I just try to make sure it's nice and comfortable. So making the mane and full up separate and I give him a few scratchies and a treat of course because I'm sure a fly mask is not the main thing he wants to have done to him. Anyway, then it's time for me to call back over under the fence and it's time for me to go to Wally and he's always waiting for me as in the summer he's not locked in. Anyway, then it's time for me to give him a few little scratches and he's always a little bit sleepy in the mornings and then I have to put on his fly mask and because his mane and forelock is always very thick I do actually have a bridle path for him so it does make it a lot easier in the morning to separate his mane and his forelock anyway then after giving him a few scratches and a few treats it's then time for me to pop on his head collar for probably his least favourite part in the morning which is his sunscreen screen so if you didn't know horses that have pink nose can get a little bit burnt and as both of the boys don't have two pink noses here in Australia it does get quite warm so I do just pop on a little bit of sunscreen just to make sure that it doesn't get burnt and as much as he hates it I do try to do it as soft but as fast as possible because you know it's probably not what he really wants to be done then he, he is looking at me a little bit gr grumpy because he doesn't know where his food is yet. But anyway, before I even start with his food, it's then time to do Jacko's sunscreen. He's always a very good boy. I don't really need to put on a head collar for him because he just puts up his nose a bit. But apart from that, I think he sort of likes to get the attention. Anyway, he's always a very good boy, I have to say. He's probably like the best horse to have done. Then I give him a few little scratches as well and give him some more treats because I think he deserves it. Then it's time for me to grab out the wheelbarrow and the mucking out book because it's time to get onto the probably the least favourite part and that is to mucking out but anyway I always in the summer it's a little bit easier to muck out just because he's not in his stable so it means there's not quite as much mess but you know still not the best job I guess but anyway I then give his stable a nice muck out and I always find mucking out very satisfying because it ends up being super nice I did put his shavings into the corner because it was like quite windy then it's time for me to go on to making hay nets because Bolly does need a hay net as he's quite prone to lemonitis so I do like to feed him hay because he hasn't got too much feed in his field at the minute um, and this is just loose in hay and I find that our hay is always so packed together it can be super hard anyway after making his hay net it's then time for me to go on to the water and I find that in the summer his water does tend to sort of get built up with algae and everything but then it's time for me to go and fill up his water as I feel like you can't give your horses yucky water especially in the summer and it is quite cool but I always find like the hose pipe it does get a little bit dirty so some little bits of grass and everything does get in there but it's nowhere near as you know disgusting as it is when it bully puts his little nose in there anyway after that while i have the hose pipe i then dampen his hay net because sometimes it, loosened hay can make your horse's stomach heat up and that can cause problems then it's time for me to go over to the girls as you know they're always waiting for their treats now since when i filmed this we have upgraded to fly masks that do have ears which is a little bit better for them anyway then i always call them up and i'm usually greeted with a nice canter from both girls unless it's a little bit lazy of a morning but anyway they tend to come trotting up for me waiting for their I wouldn't say fly masks but let's just say their treats and their nice welcoming now I've actually taken on all pretty much all the horses my mum does help me with Jacko though but anyway 
then it's time for me to give both of them a little bit of a scratch and then I put on Angel's Fly Mask. In all honesty, I don't really have a particular order. Some days I put on Mary's first, but you know, Angel tends to be a little bit more willing than Mary. Um, and Mary does boss her around, so I find if I put all hers on first, Mary will tend to leave her alone a little bit better. But anyway, then after that, Angel decided to walk over while I put Mary's on. But anyway, Mary's always a little bit a good girl. Um, she is a little bit head shy though, but here Angel isn't very interested in the camera. But anyway, normally I then I don't get followed up with Mary following behind me because... You know, both girls love an extra treat, so I do give them one just because they are on their little holiday. Then after that, it's time for me to check their legs because they are in a field with quite a bit of grass and, you know, they probably can't see quite everything, so I need to make sure that there's no cuts or anything. Then I go and I give Angel a bit of a check over again to make sure that there's no cuts. I always check all four legs, but anyway after that i then check the water i tend to have to get a little bit of hay or grass or whatever is in the water you never know what and also this water trough it does get quite a bit of rust in it so if you're wondering what like the greeny stuff is don't worry it's nothing bad it's just a bit of rust then here i am waiting for both horses to move out of the way because this is a electric fence and they were a little bit too close and the wind was pushing it towards them and of course I don't want them to be getting electrocuted. After that is then time for me to connect up the hose for the girls so I can fill up their water and on this particular day it was a little bit windy so here the water is flying absolutely everywhere and it's me trying to keep it into the trough and that this stick in the trough is basically just for the birds so then they don't drown. After that then I grab one of the horses and on this particular day it was Jacko so here he is in his stable and I've actually put a new head collar for him anyway then I need to get him all tacked up and here my mum is making sure that he's all good Okay guys, so that is the end of today's video. Please like and subscribe as it really does help me out and I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.